Hey everybody, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day. It is 2022, which means we'll see a new Dune game this year. Kinda crazy to think about it, right? Not only that, during 2022 and 2023, we'd be seeing three new Dune games in total. Dune Spice Wars being one of them, the Dune MMO survival game, and then there's still one Dune game yet to be announced. Considering Funcom had a licensed agreement to produce three Dune games within a certain time, we may see that license extended with future DLC content, especially for the MMO title. And in a new article by French publication La Tribune, some new bits of information was revealed about Dune Spice Wars. Read right here, and if you want to head to the article yourself, Full link is in the description below. Shiro Games, better known for their work on Northgard, had acquired the license to start working on Dune Spice Wars back in 2018 as Funcom approached them with this opportunity. Quote, At Shiro Games, we develop our own universes and characters. Suffice to say that we were not very hot when the publisher Funcom proposed to us in 2018 to adapt a license with the right of inspection of the rights holder. But when he told us that the license was Dune, we swallowed our principles and we reflected 48 hours before accepting and signing, laughs Sebastian Vettel, the general manager of the studio. It is interesting to see that Funcom already had the license since 2018 and four years later we'd be seeing the first game from this partnership. Obviously video game development does take time, but one would have thought that around the release of the theatrical film Dune or Dune Part 1, we'd be seeing some sort of teaser trailer. However, we know part 2 of the movie is releasing in 2023 and around March of 2023 is when there was a Dune game scheduled for release, or at least that is according to the Nvidia leak which has been accurate thus far. In case you don't know, Funcom is a Norwegian publisher and developer owned by Tencent, which is most known for producing Conan Exiles. Shiro Games was chosen by the publisher not at random, but because of the popularity of its previous game, Northgard. Quote, we're facing a lot of pressure, that's for sure. But we're going to follow in Northgard's footsteps. That is to say, by building a real-time strategy game with a little less micromanagement of units and much more long-term strategy by giving an important place to elements specific to Dune, the leaders, the influence games of the big houses, the espionage, the assassination, and of course, the spice. End quote. Explains Sebastian. Videl, who specifies that he is directly inspired by the novel, not the film released in 2021. Spice is a key figure in the Dune world, serving as a stimulant, a source of wealth and power, a geopolitical stake, an intergalactical fuel, and a chemical that allows one to see into the future. Quote, we want to transcribe this dimension by developing a whole gameplay focused on the economy of spice, its price, its demand, the decision to sell or store, etc. End quote, adds the CEO of Shira Games. Quote, to vary the moods, the game from Shira Games will integrate the day-night cycle, which plays an important role in the ecosystem specific to Dune. End quote. The environment of the desert unique to Dune will also play a key part in this game, which is set in real time but takes inspiration of Forex games that blend exploration, expansion, exploitation and annihilation. At the game's early access release, three modes of winning will be accessible, diplomatic, military and hegemonic, as well as two houses, the Artredes and the Harkonnen, and numerous well-known heads. But like Northgard and many other games in the shadow of Games as a Service, the idea is to offer new houses and content on a regular basis via paid or free upgrades. So there we can see that they're definitely looking to expand on this title, which is always a good thing, but time will tell if it'll be in the form of paid content or free updates. Quote, these games are quite complex in their mechanics, but less greedy than AAA productions. For Northgard, it surprises a lot of people, but we were only six working on it. 
we are used to working in small teams in a very agile, intuitive, fast way and giving a lot of autonomy and responsibilities, end quote, said Shiro Games. At the moment, we don't have a concrete release date as the devs has only stated that they aim to release early access of this game during the early parts of 2022. However, given the crowded release window of the next three months, I'd easily expect this title to release around May or even around August. Early access will be a paid version and will also be cheaper than the final version of the game, so it might be better to go for the early access version if you wish to save a few bucks. As for the platform, well, the devs has spoken about Steam as there has been no other mention of release, but I could see this game making it to consoles only after it goes out of early access though. But before I go any further, I am a content creator working with Demise, an international gaming community with millions of followers known across the world. In collaboration, we have released a new clothing collection. I actually have one of the t-shirts as well as the hoodie and I absolutely love it, as it's not only comfortable but warm as well. Other items include caps, beanies and so much more, and if you want a discount then click the link below and use Red Tie Guy at checkout. Thanks to Demise for this opportunity and now, let's get back to the video. Overall, I'd expect the next big info drop to be in February or maybe even March, and as for the Dune MMO survival game, well my bets would be for an announcement around E3 2022 making it just about a year before it releases. I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated on both titles, so be sure to click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date. For more gaming content, check out the rest of my channel, and if you enjoyed this video then give me a thumbs up, if you dislike it then give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.